again, and good morning, everyone. 11 minutes before 7. We have some video today of one of the luckiest men alive. Plus, there's a pretty cool twist. Take a look at this video. A man is trapped on a disabled sailboat in rough seas south of Alaska yesterday. Video is rolling from a nearby Coast Guard airplane. He has one chance to jump from his boat to the rescue ship, and he makes it. But here's the twist on top of that amazing leap. What you can't see, he has his pet tucked inside his clothing as he makes the ultimate leap of faith. A man and his cat now <laughs> safe. Wow, that was crazy. Hey, very good morning, everyone, and thanks for waking up with the Valley today. Kyle Bosch here with Lisa Bedeau. We're getting started with nonstop news and weather all the way up to the top of the hour to help you plan your day. The public is invited to attend memorial services that have been set for a Minnesota Sheriff's deputy, an MSU Moorhead alum who was killed this week in the line of duty. Services will be held Friday morning at the Aiken High School for Deputy Stephen Stanberg. Visitation is tomorrow from 2 to 8 p.m. at the Aiken United Methodist Church. Sandberg was killed early Sunday morning after a suspect he was monitoring at a hospital in St. Cloud grabbed his gun and shot him. Sandberg was a Dragon athlete in the 1970s. Yesterday, MSU Moorhead President Ann Blackhurst issued a statement sending condolences to Deputy Sandberg's family. There is more confusion this morning over when women should start having mammograms. One group says age 40, another says 50, and now the American Cancer Society recommends annual mammograms start at age 45 with the option to start them at age 40. The ACS says the new age recommendation is because the chances for false positives are especially high for women under 45 because they have denser breasts and tumors are harder to spot on an image. They also say that the guidelines, however, are only for women with an average risk of developing breast cancer. Those with a strong family history need to talk with their own doctor and make an individual decision about screening plans. And the recommendations do not impact health insurance plans, most of which are mandated by federal law to pay for mammograms. 651, that means it's time for weather and traffic on the ones. We start with meteorologist Robert Hahn, and uh, sounds like the wind's gonna get kicking up today, Robert. Yeah, definitely a breezy, too windy day out there. It's already shaking our camera around just a little bit, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Lots of traffic streaming west and east along I-94. Lots of folks getting out and about on their way to work and school or other unknown destinations. 52 here in Fargo with some cloudy skies, breezy to windy conditions. We'll continue as we head through the day today. Already seeing those winds at 20 miles per hour. And we'll see those winds at northwest 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting as high as 30 to 35 miles per hour later on this afternoon. 41 in Roseau, 41 in Langdon, 46 up in Grand Forks, 51 down in the Sisseton area. Cloud cover, we've had it just like the last couple of mornings. We're going to start off with some cloudiness and then end up with some sunshine. And those clouds will continue to decrease from west to east. Clouds thicker off toward the uh, northeast and our northern portions of uh, Minnesota. And we did have some showers earlier this morning. And most of that has dissipated. Can't rule out a few sprinkles up in this area as we head through the next hour or two. But the trend will be for some drying conditions as we head through the day today along with those breezy conditions. Northern Plains relatively quiet. Southern Plains down into the southwestern U.S. not so quiet. Storm system gathering strength. That's going to affect us as we head through the end of the week. Today, one storm system is exiting off to the right. That's going to give us some uh, breezy conditions today. But those winds subsiding later on this evening. After topping out in the 50s, we're going to drop down well into the 30s overnight tonight with decreasing winds. And clear skies, we'll see those temperatures dropping down into the low to mid 30s across the region. Most of the day tomorrow, very nice. Sunny skies warming up into the 60s, lighter winds. But then late tomorrow, here comes that storm system that moves in for late tomorrow night and during the day on Friday. Today, not too bad, although it will be on the breezy side. That's the only McFly in the ointment that we'll have. Tomorrow, lesser winds, mid 60s. It'll feel very nice. Friday, not so nice. A lot of rain up to an inch in many locations. Isolated higher amounts, not out of the question. After some morning rain, Saturday looking nice, Sunday looking even better. That is a look at your forecast. Let's get a look at your traffic with Al Ahmed. Good morning, Al. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, everyone. We have a new construction area to tell you about this morning. It's on northbound Interstate 29. Stretches from basically the tri-level to 13th Avenue. What's going to happen here is we're going to lose the lane, and you're also going to lose the lane on the ramp off. I-29 on to 13th Avenue. And to top it all off, we have a stalled vehicle out there this morning. A van is sitting there with all four flashers on. Heavy traffic out here on northbound I-29 right now. Uh, Interstate 94 traffic pretty darn thick as well.
Drive carefully today, but make sure you're paying extra attention as you head into this new I-29 work zone on northbound I-29. Al Ahmed Valley Today Traffic. Six minutes ahead of 7 a.m. as we turn back to your news headlines, bail is set at three quarters of a million dollars for a local teen being tried as an adult and facing a first degree murder charge. 16 year old Zachary St. Clair is accused of beating 55 year old Bradley Carrington to death in a Moorhead trailer home. He could face life in prison if found guilty. Court documents say St. Clair and his mom went to the police department voluntarily for an interview with detectives and that St. Clair told them he killed Carrington because Carrington had molested him. St. Clair admitted to punching Carrington in the head on Saturday night after drinking together and allegedly confessed that he thought about killing Carrington in the past and he saw an opportunity this past weekend. Moorhead police do say that they are still looking for one more man that they believe is connected to the murder. He's 20-year-old Anthony Rodriguez. This is his picture up on your screen right now. If you see him, call police immediately. A bombshell out of Bison football camp has fans trying to remain hopeful for the rest of the season. Starting quarterback Carson Wentz will undergo surgery today for a broken bone in his throwing wrist and will be out for an expected six to eight weeks. You can see, though, he was still hard at work on the practice field yesterday, helping coach up next man up, redshirt freshman Easton Stick, who will be getting the start this weekend when NDSU travels to Indiana State. Now, head coach Chris Kleiman says he and the rest of the team are excited to see what Stick can do on Saturday and uh, that Carson is expected to make a full recovery. A West Fargo woman wants more people to be aware of how to handle children with autism. She contacted Valley News Live after she grabbed a five-year-old boy who was running into traffic along 13th Avenue. The woman says the child would only repeat words that she would say and was nervous that he was going to get hit by a car. We were able to corral him. Um, I picked him up and he did not want to be held. He wasn't crying or screaming, but he was definitely trying to fight me to get away. The National Autism Association says if you see a child in a dangerous situation, like near the street or bodies of water, you should step in right away and call 911. In our Healthy Read this morning, maybe you've been wondering, what are those teal pumpkins that some people have out in front of their homes? Well, teal is the color for food allergy awareness, and homes with those pumpkins will offer non-food or allergy-safe treats on Halloween. The Teal Pumpkin Project was launched last year by the nonprofit group Food Allergy and Education Research as a way to help kids with serious food allergies enjoy trick-or-treating with their friends. A new clinic is coming to South Fargo. Essentia Health broke ground yesterday for a new building at 41st Street and 51st Avenue. The nearly 21,000 square foot clinic that will be built will include family medicine, physical therapy, pediatric care, radiology and lab services. It will also have walk-in care with expanded hours for evenings and weekends. Wine tasting, food, and more is all going on tomorrow night to raise money for a good cause. The sixth annual Wags, Whiskers, and Wine event is tomorrow night. And this year, there's a big item up for auction. The Valley Today's Christy Larson joins us live from the Homeward Animal Shelter with her new friends to tell us all about this fun event. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, guys. That's right. We have three little kittens here with us this morning, and they are not up for adoption yet, but they soon will be. And they are just one of many that are here at the Homeward Animal Shelter. And Heather Clefstad, tell us again why you guys need these donations to come, and not only tomorrow night, but all year round. Well, we really, like I said, we really rely on the community to help us take care of the animals until um, we can find their forever homes. It, you know, it costs a lot for their veterinary care, for their food, and just, you know, the shelter to take care of them here. So that's really why, why we put on events like this one. And there's other ways that people can help out, too. You know, maybe they can't come to the event tomorrow night from 6 to 9. Maybe they don't have the money to donate. But there's other ways they can volunteer. Oh, definitely. You can volunteer. You can be a foster family. You can donate, um, you know, food and other items like that. We do have a wish list on our website at homewardonline.org. It has a, a wish list of items that we're always looking for, so they can always check that out as well. And you guys have a big item over here, the signed baseball. Again, it has Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris, and Ken Hunt on there, too. Three different ones, so a big auction item. Also, there's going to be smaller basket items as well. Again, it's going on from 6 to 9. You can get those tickets um, either here at the Homeward Animal Shelter or Natural Pet Foods, or else you guys can call and reserve your tickets. $50, and they are tax deductible. And, guys, 
Do you see my new best friend? This is Lizzie. I think she's coming back to the station with me. We've got a new Valley Today mascot. Mm, so <laughs> cute. Christy Larson reporting live for us. Thank you, Christy. Let's get our answer now to our question of the morning on Facebook. One in three American adults have one of these in their bedroom. The answer, a stuffed animal. Oh. I know. I told you it was kind of a Interesting. tough one. One in three? Wow. I, I have some, but it's, I have that. children. <laughs> so you're one, you I have? guess you're one out of three. Robert and I are both no, and you're <laughs> and I'm yes. the one out of three. I, well, there you go. I didn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> Windy conditions, that's going to be the story of the day. The decreasing clouds. Big storm system moves in later on this week. Late tomorrow night, on into Friday. A lot of rain. An inch of rain, not out of the question. Some isolated higher amounts of an inch and a half to two inches, not out of the question either. It's all right to sleep with a teddy bear. Keeps you safe when the I'm thunder the happens. Bear. Oh, you're in the teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great morning, everyone. Thanks for waking up with us.